good afternoon from the Kemar Boardwalk here in Houston, Texas, towards the southeast, really. And look at this, we've got the Boardwalk Bullet. This is why I've come down here to have a go on this. You know, time last time we were in this neck of the woods, we actually did a massive America trip last year. We did about 20, 25 parks. 20, was it 20? No, it was 20 parks. It wasn't that many, actually. It is going. And I have got a contact, which I didn't message the park about filming. And apparently they're gonna, I need to meet with someone from the from the park, but they might let me film an on-ride POV, which they don't normally do. They're actually quite strict on it. They have loads of different rules for filming. So hopefully they're gonna, gonna let me film on it. Need to get tickets first. Oh, that's a cracking first drop and then into a, into a right-hand turn. Hi, I'm Stu. It's the next out in. Welcome to a new video. The, uh, we just got here from London Heathrow. We travelled in first class on BA, British Airways. So you can probably see what that's like. Let's have a look at that. On this channel, we do the theme parks and the travel element as well. that down a little bit look at the air I'm very like, tired my head thinks it's like 10 p.m. by this point I've been up since 4 a.m. it's a very long ride like really long so it's eight dollars online parking's free today though eight dollars for one go I'll probably have two goes on it one at the front if they'll let me then one towards the back maybe that's $16. It's only $30 for an all-day wristband. There's a Ferris wheel pirate ship, one of the fireball type inverter things, carousel. There's not many rides here, but we'll take a little look as we go around. Very quickly, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. It really helps the channel out, and I really do appreciate it. Got one of these soaring eagle type things. It's like a zip wire that goes all the way back up to there. We saw one of them at um, Frontier City, didn't we? Here we go, we've got a little bit of a map over here. So we are, we, we're here. So it goes down for a bit actually, a little train. We'll start over here, we'll walk all the way around and give a, give you a glance at what's here. Let's go down this way. Here's Roman Hours. Like quite a few places in the US, there's no actual incentive to book in advance online. The prices are exactly the same. Uh, everything is individually priced, but it's expensive. If you're here for all the day, the wristbands are no-brainer, really. You've got, you've got family and kids. Looks like a band's about to set up. They love a bit of live music over here, don't they? I really like that. Let me walk over here, because it says something about slippery when wet. So this is like that circle that you saw on the map. Pandora, that just full of shops and restaurants and stuff. It's a Friday daytime. It's the little train, which does a loop round. See if we can walk along the front, maybe. I did see like a massive. Oh, here's a train. There is like a massive boat. It said on the website isn't included in the in the wristband. It's like a huge, but it's going quite fast. But it's going down that way. It looks like a dead end down that way. So I don't know why or how where that goes basically. Also, context on why I'm in Houston right now because actually a lot of theme parks in America don't open yet. A lot of them open around May time, but around the south of Texas they do open. But I'm here because there's an eclipse on Tuesday and we're going to try and see the eclipse. It's one of my bucket list things that I want to do. Apparently it's stormy weather from next week, so whether it's going to happen or not, we'll, we shall see. Here's that boat I saw. Open top. It looked like it was going at a fair pace though. It is beautifully presented here like the landscape which is not something you have with a with a pier or with a 
the boardwalk. It's normally just decking and fences. So we've got a tilt a whirl. There's Sir Lancelot's charges on the far side there. It's a Camelot reference. We've got a heave ho type attraction, a pirate ship, an Egyptian themed pirate ship. Well, that's, that's a new one, isn't it? Observation Tower, which isn't going. That's a shame. Ferris wheel. It is kind of in the centre little hub here, and they've got the railroad entrance as well. We walk around the other side of the of the fireball. I call them fireball. They called fireballs. What's a Larson loop? Is that what they're called? That's the proper name, isn't it? A Larson loop. You also got a little frog bounce. One of those kind of not quite a star flyer. If that makes sense. Have one at movie park in Germany, and it loads you one. That's sort of it. We're going to the wooden coaster now. It's not massive. You can spend half a day here, that's what I think. If you've got some food and stuff, there's plenty of restaurants and stuff here. This is actually better themed than a lot of stuff. I mean, that is a cracking coaster. I mean, I feel I feel like I'm just saying that because like they've they've been so nice and the team here have been amazing at accommodating me coming down because they could just say no. They've, like I said, that that team member there who's coming who's coming help help me out with that, Carla. Also, there's two other team members when I first arrived who both introduced themselves, and they came down with us when they got a bit sidetracked by something, I think. A security guard and another team member. They don't need to do this. Like, they don't have to. Like, they promote the promo for my tiny... If it was a massive channel, maybe, you know, you get, a, you get a thousands and thousands of views. This video won't get that sort of views, but they still said yes. The team members know about the rise. They know, they talk about how smooth it is. They know about Iron Rattler, they, you know, over at Six Flags Fiesta Texas, or was it over Texas Fiesta? I can't remember now. But like they, they just know their, they know the manufacturer, they know the height, they know the speed, they know where it's best to sit. I just, it's just really nice to just talk to, I suppose like-minded people, isn't it? Well, that's it for my little trip down to Kemar Bodwalk. Going back to the bullet, there's, there's, there's massive pops of airtime. It does peter out a little bit towards like half, I passed it halfway. It does peter out a little bit. It's so smooth, it's so small. The height of that, from the highest point of that to the lowest point of Wicker Man, can't be too different, can't be too different. 
you know, from, the, not from the ground level, from the highest point to the lowest point. Um, yes, okay, it's got some big first drops, which Mickey Man might struggle with, you know, height-wise to get. But it's not about that. It's about the, I mean, look at the banking on some of the bends we've got. Yeah, with the car, it's probably a little bit of a hum of air. So if you're ever in this area of Houston, it's about an hour from the center of Houston. It took me 51 minutes from the airport today to get here. And that's when on the no toll roads. Defo, Defo, come and, come and ride it. 30, $30 for the day. And you can go on the Fireball. What else? You've got the Ferris wheel and stuff. So yeah, but you can just keep going around that. It's open all year, as you say, all year. Except for January and February, because I think they close it to do, you know, redo the wood and stuff. But right, have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video.